Hey guys, so I'm here to do another book review. I was going to do, finally, um, I was going to do City of Bones, but I think I'm going to wait for that one. I think I'm going to do that one. I think that one's probably going to be my first review of 2011. So that'll be probably next week sometime I'll do that review. But after reading that book, I decided I wanted to read a shorter one, which is the review I'm doing for today. I'm doing the review for Pretty Little Devils from Nancy Holder. This book is pretty interesting. Um, it is short as well. It's 271 pages long, and the font looks like this. So it's pretty decent sized font as well and it makes it go really quick especially there are moments in here where you read someone's blog um, and the blog is big bold font which you guys can see the big bold font and there are parts in here where they're in a in a chat room and that's the chat room font So, yeah, chat room, and there's, I don't know, there's chat room, there's text messaging uh, parts in here, blogs, things like that, so it goes pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the back real quick. It says, some girls would kill to be part of the in crowd. Popularity is the one thing Hazel wants. High school junior Hazel Stone is sick of being stuck with the C-listers. She'll do anything to be one of the pretty little devils, her school's most coveted clique. The PLDs are famous for their secret soirees held in the oversized suburban homes of the people they babysit for. So when Sylvia invites her to one of the PLD parties, Hazel couldn't be more thrilled. Little does she know, Hazel's new social status comes with a price. Sure, it's fun skinny dipping in infinity pools and drinking the contents of well-stocked rec rooms after the kids are in bed. But when the lights go out, the babysitter has to deal with more than monsters in the closet. Nasty things start happening. Frightening crank calls, a cat gone missing, mysterious threats, and it seems that someone is jealous of newly popular Hazel. Deadly jealous. When other babysitters start turning up dead, Hazel has to figure out who to trust before someone turns their back stabbing ways on her. So that's what the book is about, basically. So... This is my first time ever reading anything from Nancy Holder. I have never, ever, ever read anything from her before. Um, they do advertise on the back of the book her first two books from her Possessions series. It advertises them on the bottom here. So, I'm thinking about getting those as well. I'm not sure. But, yeah. The book, basically, I don't even know how to explain the book to you because it pretty much, what it says on the back is what it's about. I mean, it's it's not anything more to it than what it says on the back, really. Um, it's about a girl named Hazel, and she has um, these people that she hangs out with, but she doesn't consider them friends. Um, and she really wants to be a member of the PLDs, the Pretty Little Devils. And... Uh, when she finally gets invited over to them, she thinks her whole world is like, you know, gonna crash down in her face or something. She just, she can't believe it. She's so excited. And, uh, yeah, she becomes part of the in crowd. And, uh, basically the school has two main popular cliques, um, for, for the females. Uh, the, for, the one is the cheerleaders, and then the other one's the PLDs. Every, and everybody, even some of the cheerleaders, really want to be a PLD. But, um, yeah, it just pretty much goes through her, um, like she has an initiation phase that she has to go through, and I don't know, it's pretty hard to explain. Um, the book, though, wasn't that bad. I was actually really surprised. Normally when it comes to books like this, I don't read them. 
I'm not really into these kinds of books. I prefer, like, I mostly read vampire novels, actually. But, uh, when it comes to this one, these type of books, I normally don't read them. And I read it, and I'm actually really glad that I did, and I'm actually thinking about getting the Possessions novels from her to read as well, at least the first one, to see how that one is. Um, but yeah, so I really liked the book. I recommend it. Um, it's definitely great if you don't have a lot of time to read, because it's so short and... I don't know. It's just, I liked it. I do recommend it. Um, other than that, I want to show you guys really quickly my book haul. I got a couple of books, which I need to reach over and grab, actually. So I got a couple of new books, um, and I have not shown any of these yet. I only got four of them, so it's not like a humongous book haul. Uh, there's only four books. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show them really quick. Uh, first one I got was from Lauren, is from Lauren Kate, and it's the first book to her Fallen series, and it's Fallen. So that's exciting. I can't wait to read these books, by the way. I'm really excited to read these books. Um, the next one's from Alison Noel. It's the first book to her Immortal series, and the book is called Evermore. So that one's going to be pretty exciting. And the next one that I got is from PC Cast and Kristen Cast, and it's the first book of the House of Night series, and it's marked. So we got that one. And then the last one I got is from V.C. Andrews, um, which I'm actually surprised, speaking of V.C. Andrews, I'm actually surprised they're still releasing books from her, considering she has been passed away for a long time. I know they're doing a ghostwriter for her, which is um, basically meaning that the... Um, her estate did so well in her novels that they were able to hire what's known as a ghostwriter, which is somebody that comes in and finishes manuscripts that she um, had started, and they finish it and use her name and release it. And I'm pretty sure that's what this is, one of those ghost novels, the ghost writers. I'm pretty sure finished this one, but it's called Daughter of Darkness. So I'm excited to read that because uh, I used to be really, really into V.C. Andrews, and then I fell out of her for a while. I haven't read any of her stuff for a really long time. I haven't read any books. Yeah, I haven't read any V.C. Andrews books for a really long time. I'm actually um, on the way. Is coming the whole first, very first season that V.C. Andrews, or season, wow. The whole very first series that V.C. Andrews wrote, known as the um, Dollenganger series, which is a series of five books. The first one's Flowers in the Attic. The second one is Petals in the Wind. The third one is If There Be Thorns. The fourth one is Seeds of Yesterday. And then the last one is Garden of Shadows. So those books are on their way. Um, actually, my mom has those books, and she moved. She lives out of state now. But, um, she has those books, and I want to read them, so she's supposed to mail them to me sometime within the next couple of weeks. So, those are on their way as well, so whenever I read those, I'll do reviews on those too. But yeah, so these are some of the books, four, four of my new ones. And, uh, I know you guys seen the bookmark in this one, but I didn't start reading it yet, actually. So, but I stuck the bookmark in there pretty much so I wouldn't lose it because I probably am going to read this one next. So, um, 
but yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have a happy New Year's, and I hope your guys' New Year's Eve is a lot of fun. I myself probably am not going to do much of anything um, for New Year's Eve. I am still sick. I have been sick since the week before Christmas. And, uh, I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that I'm better by New Year's Day, at least, because New Year's Day is my, and my fiancé's anniversary, so, I'm really hoping I feel better by then, at least, but, for New Year's Eve, I really don't have plans, but, yeah. Um, this is my last Pretty Little Devils, this was my last book review for 2010, and in 2011, I'm not sure if it'll be the first week of 2011 or the second week. I haven't decided yet. It depends on how busy things get with my anniversary and everything. But uh, the first book review of 2011 will be on City of Bones. So keep that. And my phone's ringing. So, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it, but my phone's ringing, so I gotta go. But Happy New Year's, everyone. Bye.